Bonjour, c'est Clara French in the Midlands. In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 ways to start your sentences so you sound more like the French. The problem is when you reach a certain level and you begin to more or less be able to say what you want, you will be missing these little words and your sentence won't sound like they begin naturally. So to be able to make sentences that flow better, this is what you're going to use. The first really useful word is alors or bon alors, which means right or so. Say you're in a restaurant and you go alors, on va commencer par les huîtres. Right, we'll start with the oysters. Alors is also the word you will use in a work context when somebody starts a presentation. They'll tend to say alors and then launch into the explanation. Eh bien, well or well then, widely used in English, well. Equally used in French, eh bien. Eh bien, je t'achète le pull bleu si tu veux. Well then, I'm buying you the blue jumper if you like. En fait, en fait is a brilliant one because in English you use the expression actually an awful lot and this is what you should translate it as in French, en fait. Actually, in fact, basically. Um, if you say actuellement, like a lot of English speakers do, it's a mistake. It means currently in French. Be very careful. Remember, en fait. En fait, on n'a pas vendu notre maison. Actually, we didn't sell our house. D'abord is my favorite because it's what kids use at the beginning of every single sentence. Um, for instance, you serve them something they don't like and they go, D'abord, j'aime pas la salade. Anyway, I don't like salad. Or um, they'll come home from school and they go, D'abord, je lui parle plus. Anyway, I'm not talking to him anymore. And so on and so on. It's a brilliant one. In a more adult way, it's used for first of all. D'abord, il faudrait en parler au patron. First of all, we need to talk about it with the boss. The next one is bien sûr. I'm sure you've heard that one, which is of course. So say you're having this conversation. Vous venez nous voir dimanche? Are you coming to see us on Sunday? Bien sûr, of course. You can start with sentence with bien sûr and say bien sûr on va venir or just bien sûr on its own. It's quite handy. Évidemment, forcément is kind of along the same line. It means obviously. Évidemment. Robert ne viendra pas. Obviously, Robert won't be coming. The next one is messy, and that baffles people because they say, well, what does the C mean? Because um, yes means, w yes is we. Oui. C means if, but in this context, messy, it means yes, or yes, I do, yes, I have, Yes, of course. And it's always in reply to a negative question. Just for that purpose, let me show you an example. Say somebody is asking you, Vous n'allez pas à Nice cette année? Are you not going to Nice this year? And you go, Mais si, on part demain. Of course we are. We're leaving tomorrow. You see how it's used? Negative question. Are you not going to Nice this year? Answer, of course we are. But of course in French, we don't have this we are or we do. So we replace it with Messi to really emphasize that the person's actually mistaken. Mais enfin, I quite like this one. What on earth or what the hell, if you like. Mais enfin, tu étais passé où? For heaven's sake, where have you been? Or where on, her, on earth have you been? Or what on earth have you been doing? You, you, can, you can kind of adapt this one. And that's why I really like it. It can mean a wide range of things, usually to do with slight exasperation. And for the next one, we've got bref, which is used for instead of long story short or in a nutshell or in conclusion, if you like. Bref, on est resté à la maison toute la semaine. Long story short, we stayed at home all week. It's very, very handy. And very quick as well, bref. 
The last one is d'ailleurs, which means besides. I know a lot of people come across this one and say to me, I have no idea what that means and I've seen it 25 times and I still don't know. That's what it is, d'ailleurs. D'ailleurs, il faudrait que je lui téléphone un de ces jours. Besides, I would have to phone her one of those days or in the next few days. This is something you'd use when you've been talking about someone you haven't seen it for, seen for a while and you go, oh, anyway, I'll have to phone him one of these days. And that's what you're going to use, d'ailleurs. That's it for now. Give me a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already a member. And I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt.